Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and our Venus signs. And it is going to be general, so it's not going to be for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs. Or if you'd like, you can book a personal reading. All of that information is in the description box. And personal readings do give more specific information for your situation. And because this reading is general, it means also that the roles can be reversed. So let's see what is going on with Sagittarius in a love connection for the first half of July. Okay, so for the situation, we have Temperance crossed by the King of Cups. All right, okay, so this this is trying to find some kind of a balance. This is also um, your energy here. Okay, so I feel like you're really trying to stand in your power, really trying to find yourself, really trying to find some balance within yourself when it comes to love. And I feel like it's a little bit difficult because there are so many emotions here, okay? Now, this could be you or this could be your person. Um, let's see what else. In recent past we have the nine of cups and for the near future here we have the devil all right okay so there's also capricorn energy here um for some of you maybe you're also dealing with another sagittarius it doesn't have to be so there was definitely mm, okay having the nine of cups and the devil here so it could be that somebody might be involved in a toxic situation maybe there is an addiction for some of you and for others there might just be some um just overindulging in something because temperance is also about moderation so i feel like that could be what the issue is here for some of you um for some situations it could just be codependency it really just depends it's going to be different Let's see your energy here. We have the Three of Swords. For them, we have the Ace of Pentacles. More about you is Judgment. For them, the Queen of Pentacles. And potential outcome is the Seven of Cups. All right. Do keep in mind this is... I mean, timelines can vary. Time is relative, but this is aim to be for the first half of July, okay? Um, I definitely see see the challenge here. I, I definitely pick up on that, especially on your end. Again, the roles can be reversed. Uh, but I do see that you're feeling a lot of pain at the moment. You're feeling a lot of heartbreak. Maybe there has been a separation or maybe you, you've been in separation for a while because of whatever the situation is. I don't necessarily think that it has to be that it's a toxic relationship or that it's a toxic um, connection overall, but there might be some aspect to it that might be a little bit um, unhealthy at the moment, okay? It does not mean forever. You would know though, okay? Always follow your intuition. If this is, obviously if there is a situation that is very toxic for you overall, definitely, you know, um, that's not something you wanna be a part of. And I feel like you would already know that anyway. Um, I just feel like there's a little bit of some kind of an unhealthy dynamic currently. And I, whatever the case, though, because in the middle here, we do have temperance and the king of cups. I do feel that this is something that you are trying to resolve or this other person is trying to resolve. <clears throat> I actually do not see something negative on in their energy showing up here. I actually see them trying to really... Um, heal themselves, trying to really find that sense of balance from within, trying to ground themselves, trying to um, nurture the connection actually, or to do whatever, whatever needs to be done in order for this connection to be nurtured and to reach a more healthy place, okay? That's in their energy. Again, roles can be reversed. I do see them wanting to take a new path. And I feel like that new path is to get out of whatever it is that is unhealthy here. You're learning something through this, through this connection with them. And it might be, it might be very painful at the moment. 
but it is something that you are going to really have a rebirth from. It's like because of this pain, you are truly discovering who you are. And you're going to feel a huge transformation. Feeling almost like you're a new person because of this in, in the good way. So I feel like there is something positive to be gained on both sides here. Okay, now we do have the Seven of Cups um, for the potential outcome, so it's a little bit unclear what might happen here. We will clarify and get more details. So let's, let's start clarifying. So let's see um, Temperance with the King of Cups. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, I, I feel like this connection is just going through a very difficult um, time at the moment. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of sadness at the moment. There's a lot of longing for the potential of this connection or for how this connection used to be. A lot of grief. I actually feel like this is on, on um, both sides here. I feel like there is something that the two of you possibly are not agreeing on. Although it feels like the one thing you do agree on is the fact that the emotions are there. There's a lot of love. I don't know if this love is actually being expressed verbally i actually get that um, for many of you it's not for others of you it definitely could be and there's this sense of really trying to bring to a balance i feel like mostly for you really trying to sort out this conflict that you feel and this love that you feel and it feels like it's at two extremes like like the love that you feel is at one extreme and then the conflict that you feel is is at the other extreme and it's like these two contradictory emotions or energies it's like they're tearing you apart definitely feels like this is a very um a strong connection though i feel like it's a deep soul connection possibly um a past life connection where there's just there could be some unresolved issues from past lives here for some of you and that's why certain things might be playing out now in order for these things to be for those things to be resolved um but yeah it's definitely not not easy let's see the three of swords for your energy the king of cups the six of wands and the page of pentacles I feel like you know that how this person feels about you. You're very you're very certain about how this person feels about you. You 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 know that this person loves you. Um But again, it feels like, you know, you you're just feeling like this person cannot provide you with what it is that you would need in order to feel that emotional stability in order for there to be the the healthy type of a um, connection here the healthy type of love let's see judgment and then we'll clarify their energies You might also be dealing with another um, Sagittarius here. I don't know if I said that. All right, so clarifying judgment, we have death, the two of cups, and the ten of wands. This is a major, major transformation um, that you're that you're currently going through, and it's because of this connection. It's it's directly related to this connection. You might possibly be feeling like, you know, this is just done. Like, I just, I cannot be a part of this anymore. Or, or you know, this person just isn't going to come around. There's not going to be any change on their end. 
things are just always going to be unhealthy and you f you're just really feeling like it's done but what I'm getting here is that this is something actually that does need to happen you feeling that way is what is actually helping you to transform and helping you to find something within yourself whether that be your self-worth whether that be um, just finding aspects of yourself more self-awareness going deep finding unresolved issues from your past childhood wounds whatever whatever the case might be that is what is happening for you and this is why you are going to feel or you already might be feeling like you are being reborn although I feel like you're still a little bit in the middle of of the pain at the moment but know that this is ending soon the hardest part is almost over so let's see what is going on with them let's clarify the ace of pentacles Okay, we got quite a few here. The Seven of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Devil. So, okay, whatever this, okay, Nine of Cups and the Devil together, again, it's coming through to me either as an addiction or um, a lot of maybe codependency, but, or just really trying to fill their cup, trying to really fulfill themselves in a way that was like not serving them in the end. Whatever that situation is, and it's going to be different for, for each of you, this is something that they had always been avoiding. They had been avoiding really taking care of that. Whatever that is, I feel like it was, it was um, some kind of a power, just it was very powerful over them for whatever reason. Um, again, it's, it's going to be different. It's not going to be the exact same thing for all of you, but for a lot of them, I feel like this is just something that was like ingrained in them. So it could just be core beliefs for some of them. For others, it could be a marriage. Um, for others, again, it could just be, it could, it could even be a drug addiction or alcoholism that was just very, very powerful. Whatever that was, they have been avoiding taking care of it. However, with the Ace of Pentacles, and the page of wands here it's like they're taking that first step here they're seeing the pathway to to a new way of being to a different way of being in the practical like i feel like there's physical um elements here to this like it's not just in their minds whatever it is that they have been avoiding that was unhealthy that was very powerful that's the ace of pentacles here opening up a new doorway, opening up a new path, taking that first step to resolving that. And this is going to start by them actually really taking care of themselves first. So I feel like, you know, for this person, we're not really getting their energy towards you as much because I feel like whatever this issue is for them, it's it's just, that's, that's the priority right now. Um, the Queen of Pentacles and this is what needs to happen they need to take care of themselves first before they can take care of you you know or take care of whatever is going on in this connection the two of wands and the nine of wands it's a challenge all right it's a challenge for sure this person is really just about to take that first step. I don't see them giving up. I see them really trying to find, find health is what's coming through. Find health. They do have what it takes. And I, I feel like they're finding that persistence within themselves 
to get to that place of being healthy, whether that mean physical health, psychological health, um, spiritually, whatever. Let's clarify the devil for the near future. The Tower, the Queen of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, whatever this toxic issue is, and maybe maybe for some of you it isn't in your relationship, okay? Maybe it is within this connection. I mostly feel like it's something different. I feel like it's something outside of this connection. Maybe in some way related to your connection, or maybe it's been influencing your connection in a negative way. And so that does also make the, the connection unhealthy. But I do kind of feel like it stems from something else. Um, it doesn't have to be though, okay? It could be um, just their possibly, you know, let's just say, you know, them being selfish, right? In, in this connection, not being able to see things from another point of view and they have been avoiding um, trying to resolve that, all right? If you had communicated this to them, that's just one example. Whatever the case, I do see that this energy in the near future, it's still there to some extent. But I love that we got the Tower, the Queen of Cups, as well as the Four of Swords, all right? This is like such a great combination because yeah, although the Tower, it is a challenging energy, it's definitely difficult, but I feel like the only thing that could really overpower this, the way I'm seeing it, is the Tower. Like something really needs to be destroyed here. That devil needs to be destroyed. That toxicity, whatever it is that is unhealthy, Whatever that energy is, I feel like it's it's the tower that is going to actually demolish it. And I actually love that the, um, the devil is the number 15 and then the tower is 16. It's like actually progress. It's moving forward from that devil. The tower comes in to destroy the devil. And I feel like that is what is coming. That is what is coming and it's going to be based off of not only intuition, but it is being led by their hearts, being led by love, as well as their intuition, which is ultimately leading to healing. Okay, here it is, finding that health again. Just as I was saying before, with the Queen of Pentacles coming through as health, we're getting the Four of Swords, which is all about healing. Just had the Six of Swords flip over as well, um, which is moving towards calmer waters, moving away from a challenge, leaving old baggage behind. So I do feel like that is what is happening here. It, let's see the Seven of Cups. Potential outcome here. We have Temperance. Wow, I love that we started off the reading with Temperance and we're finishing off the reading with Temperance. This again has to do with moderation, health, and balance so yeah we do have the seven of cups here because you know there might be a little bit of some distractions or there might be a little bit of having to make certain choices being a little bit confused as to am i doing the right thing am i moving in the right direction but that's only natural there's still overall there's going to be this healing energy and it's just a specific message to those of you that um might be dealing with alcoholism i do see this also being a symbol of that and this being a healing but again you know always follow your intuition all right but i do see things moving in that direction i mean the, the message is very very clear okay sagittarius this was a little bit of a heavier reading um but yeah it does have a positive um outcome. So let's see, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, we have the new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. I'm telling you. I do feel like things are moving in the right direction here, but obviously, you know, if you are dealing with something that is toxic, that's something that is unhealthy, do not stay in that type of a dynamic. 
all right things do not change unless there is some kind of a change made so as long as you're staying in something that is not changing it's not just going to change on its own okay so Sagittarius those were the messages for you thank you so much for watching much love